Hey guys, what's going on? Jake Ryan is Epic here, and I'm going to be talking about Survivor Series 1987. I've said in previous videos that I'm going to watch every Survivor Series ever, and I've gone through about almost ten, no, no, ten of them. I've gone through ten Survivor Series. I'm actually on Montreal, the 1997 Survivor Series, but I'll get to that in due time. I'm going to talk about the first ever Survivor Series, which, after watching it, I have to agree, is quite a mind-boggling event, and we're going, and I'm going to talk about that. Sure, talk about that right now. So, the, what made this different from other Survivor, from like today's Survivor Series, is that there were not, there were no singles matches. There were just all Survivor Series matches. It didn't matter if you were the Intercontinental Champion, you were the WWE Champion, whether you were the Tag Team Champions, you were involved in a Survivor Series match, which I thought was pretty cool because you get everyone involved, you get everybody involved in a wrestling match. So, <clears throat> so our first match was Team Honky Tonk Man versus Team Macho Man. I have my notes here because I have a cruddy memory. We have Har on on Team Honky Tonk Man. We have Harley Race, Hercules, Ron Bass, Danny Davis, and Honky Tonk Man. Now, Honky Tonk Man came out with with the manager Jimmy Hart and Harley Race, who looked like he was in such a good mood. I mean, he's just walking around like, boy, am I glad to be back here. I can't believe I was dragged out of my own home and brought to this arena and brought into this match because Honky Tonk Man asked me to. He just looks so happy. And on Team Macho Man, we had Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, Jake the Snake Roberts, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and Macho Man Randy Savage. If you notice, everyone has a nickname. Um, Macho Man, Randy Savage, Robert, Jake the Snake Roberts, and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat ended up winning the match. They were the sole survivors. In it was it was pretty a generic ma pretty a generic. It was a pretty generic match, to say the least. But it was a good match to start off the Survivor Series. This next match I thought was pretty incredible. We had a Divas match, or I should say a women's match. They called them the women, not the Divas. <laughs> Not the tramp stamp belt. <laughs> we have the we have the deep divas. We have the women's match with Team Sherry versus Team Moolah. Now, by Sherry I mean sensational Sherry. On that side we had the ladies tag team champions. I'm gonna let that set in. Ladies tag team championships. I swear to God. They the ladies tag team champions, the glamour girls, Don Marie, Donna. Donna Christianello, mess up that name every time, and Sensational Sherry, who was the women's champion. And then on Team Fabulous Moolah, we had Velvet McIntyre, Rockin' Robin, the Jumping Bomb Angels, I'll talk about them in a few minutes, and the Fabulous Moolah. The Jumping Bomb Angels were the sole survivors in this match, and I swear, they had to be like the women's 1980s version of the Young Bucks. They were just doing moves off the top rope, they were doing springboards, they were just doing everything correct. They were just kicking all kinds of ass. I, I wish we had more ladies teams like the Jumping Bomb Angels. I wish we had ladies tag team championships now. Well, now that I think about it, then they'll just give it to the Bella Twins. They're like, here, hold on to these for six months. <laughs> So, our next match is a tag team, tag team Survivor Series match between Team Heart Foundation and Team Strike Force. Now, the Heart Foundation team had the Bolsheviks from Russia, Demolition, Axe and Smash, the Dream Team, the Islanders, and the Heart Foundation. And on the other side, we had the British Bulldogs, the Young Stallions, the Brujo, the Brujo, the Rougeau brothers, forgive me. The Rougeau brothers, the Killer Bees, and the Strike Force. The Young Stallions and the Killer Bees were the sole survivors here, and the Young Stallions were truly the truly the great the best tag team in this match because they 
again, they were flying all over the place. They were athletic. They were in there more often than anybody. They just did a solid, solid job. And Killer Bees ended up picking up the pinfall victory because B. Brian, B. Brian Blair, <laughs> mess up that name too, B. Brian Blair switched with Jumping Jim Bronzel when they put on masks. And the, how the referee did not see that surprised me because even though they wear masks, the referee will still know that they're wearing masks and he'll probably still know the difference. Anyway, our last match was the main event. It was Team Hogan versus Team Andre. Now, T now Hulk Hogan was the WWF Championship at the time. This was after WrestleMania 3, you know, when, when Hulk Hogan did the... He slams Bundy, everybody goes nuts, you know, we sell a million pay-per-views, da-da-da-da-da, you know. On, on Hogan's team, I got this messed up on my notes. Um, on, on Hogan's team, we had Bam Bam Bigelow, Ken Pantera, Don Morocco, Paul Orndorff, Mr. Wonderful, the guy with the handlebar mustache that we saw on Raw, and of course, Hulk Hogan. Now, on Team Andre the Giant, we had Ravishing Rick Rude, King Kong Bundy, Butch Reed, One Man Gang, and Andre the Giant. Now, this is why I think that John Cena today is a, is a modern Hulk Hogan, because Hulk Hogan just buries everybody. About near the conclusion of the match, Hulk Hogan gets counted out, but he just starts body slamming everybody. One Man Gang, King Kong Bundy, Andre the Giant. He doesn't know that he's getting counted out, but he eventually does. And Andre the Giant was the first sole survivor of the Survivor Series in Survivor Series history. He won with the double underhook suplex, which he eliminated Bam Bam Bigelow. Uh, the reason why this video is so short was because it was supposed to be longer, but my Intel Studio software on my computer is crappy, and the original video was 15 minutes, so I cut it down to about seven minutes. Seven minutes, eleven seconds. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like this video, please leave a comment, please subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, the whole social media network crap, <laughs> and please, please do that right away. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Peace.